The Ghost of Wave 4. Here is Kyle Larson's 2019 DC Solar Chevrolet Camaro. Howdy, howdy folks, it's Diecast will fight here again, and welcome back to an Ask Our Diecast review. Today's car has been one of my most anticipated Diecast reviews, maybe ever. I've wanted to do this review so badly as soon as I, I realized this was a secret car in Wave 4. And here she is, folks. Kyle Larson's 2019 or 18. We're going to figure out in this video. Oh my god, man. I have been wanting this die cast for ages, man. As soon as I seen um, people talking about it online after Wave 4 was announced. And uh, talking about how this is a secret car and how uh, obviously Lionel couldn't advertise it. I wanted this thing so badly, man. I, I remember seeing this on track in the clash in 2018 and I just had to have it let's go ahead and get this car out of the box oh my god it, this oh wow this thing is gorgeous this this is a gorgeous diecast oh my lord am I so glad I'm I have this diecast oh my god man let's kind of go over it so this is a car that um it, it, I wanted so badly when I seen it in the Clash. It was just such a cool alternate paint scheme. And my god, man. Lionel somehow, someway brought it into NASCAR Authentics. One of the biggest Authentics upsets of all time, if not the biggest. And I'm going to flip it over and see what it says. 2019 Camaro. Look at that. Top right of the car. Look at that. 2019 Camaro. So this does confirm this is a 2019 paint scheme. This confirms it. Um, and w This is what bothers me. Is this car has been out on shelves since, what, May 15th, 16th? Like, you could go to the Lionel store. All these people buy the diecast. No one opens it. No one opens it and posts it on Instagram. No one has the... No one even flips it over and looks and says, Hey, this is a 2019 or 18 Camaro. So I have been waiting for two months. To realize that this car is officially a 2019 car. This is not a 2018. No. The mold is on a 2019. If it was meant to be a Clash car. It would have been released. And mass produced. On the 2018 mold. No. This is indeed. A sponsorship car. That was good. DC Solar already had a deal in place with Lionel Racing. To release this. In the Authentics line. And honestly probably the Gold Series too. But maybe they already jumped the gun and already planned and already started making it. So they released it. I don't know. Maybe there was money involved. I don't know. But whatever it is, this car did get released. And this car was never on track. So this is, in a way, a fantasy car. But it is confirmed a 2019 car because the mold itself says it. The mold is the, that is the true key. Because if the mold says it's a 2019 car... In the database for this car, it says 2019. So, got that out of the way. But, I'm not the type of guy that's going to buy a die cast. Like, if I can get a die cast before anyone else, you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to open it and I'm going to let everyone else be able to experience the car before maybe they buy it, you know? That's what type of guy I am. I want to make sure everyone else gets a shot to look at the car and get some good, you know, some good photos of it. But, sorry with that small rant there. So let's kind of go over the car here. So it's, it's it's like a dark cobalt blue, maybe a navy blue with some, uh, I would say, teal, uh, like kind of fading, like solar rays. Uh, you got a blue ribbon here, and oh my god, it's so beautiful, man. Just so beautiful. Uh, so beautiful. But I do got a little bit of a, a, a oopsie right here on the stripe. I don't know uh, what Lionel was thinking, but there's a little bit of a oopsie here, and I'm not too happy about it, yeah. Uh, if I keep trying to pick at it more, it's just going to scrape the whole uh, car. Yeah. That's a lost cause there, unfortunately. But, yeah, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a, a, a oopsie there by Lionel. But, you know what? I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to let it slide. Uh, this is a car, man. I've wanted so badly, bro. Like, you have no clue how badly I wanted this die cast. Like, some people might not have been through, too thrilled about it. Let me tell you. I was head over heels. I was just flat out 
all over this die cast. Got a little bit of a chip right here on the uh, hood pin. We got uh, some weird looking stripe decal here that's on the solar parts right there of the R. That's unfortunate. Here's the front end decals. The right side's a little too raised. So this is one of those die casts that you get that have some issues. You can see, um, you can just see a lot of, you can see like the decal here, right? Right there, you can kind of see how it changes. So this is a pretty uh, poorly done wrap. You can see bubbles all along the left side here, left thumbnail. And over here on the right, you can definitely see some air bubbles. Like I just creased that one in. Watch this, see that, I'm creasing it. Those are air bubbles, so. That is unfortunate that we, we have air bubbles. And I think I see one right there. Just uh, underneath the, uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just a mold. Looked like it was underneath the ZL1 decal. But that does confirm that we do have a uh, terrible quality here. And you know what? I'm not going to let it get me down. I'm not going to let it get me down, guys. I'm not. This is a beautiful die cast. I don't care who you are. If I could have one car I'd wait for. You could take that Brett Moffitt truck, the Ryan Blaney PPG, the Chase Elliott Dover. You could take those cars and throw them in the dumpster. I still want this car more than any other car in that wave, hands down. And this bugs me right here. Oh my god, this this, this is just stupid. Look at this. We got we got something that just scraped off there. But look how low the 42 is. This oh my. God. God, the quality, man. I'm not going to let it get me down, but it is very poor quality. Um, I'm a die-cast critic. You know, like OBB, like Race Day 2011, you know, Little Wrangler 3, all those. We're die-cast critics, you know. It's our job to m pick out the flaws in a die-cast. And uh, it might seem like I'm always negative a lot, but I do try to point out positives. And that's what I want this review to be, is mostly positive, so I'm just going to move over from that. Oh my god, oh, oh my, wow. Oh my god, I might just have to buy another one of these die casts, because this is just, oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow, way to go, Lionel. Oh my god, look at the quality control here, guys. I mean, the decal is it is just jumping. Oh my. Whew. Wow. This is uh, just just garbage quality. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I don't even know. Look, I, I'm trying not to let it get me down. I'm trying to find some positives. It's a beautiful die cast, like the actual paint scheme, but the quality is... Uh, it's... Uh, pretty uh pretty in the toilet but my biggest beef is you got to get the numbers right that's a little that's way too low for me but guess what i still love this die cast man i still love this die cast overall the quality is i would probably put it at a 5.5 in quality um my main thing is bro you got to make sure you get the numbers and the side sponsors in the hood right everything else you i don't care you get those right. When you mess up the number, you mess up the whole die cast. And I'd put this quality at a 5.5 to be honest. Uh, a lot of little issues here and there. But I'm not going to let it get me down, guys. Let me know what y'all think about this Kyle Larson 2019 DC Solar Paint Scheme. This car was ran in the Clash last year. This car, it's on the 2019 mold. I think it's a beautiful car, man. And it, it, it gets better. You get to, it gets better. Look at this. Look at this magnet, guys. Look how beautiful this magnet is. This is the best magnet I have ever seen out of the Authentics line. So beautiful, man. I mean, wow. Uh, and the blue is a lot more turquoise than what it appears on camera. It's a lot more turquoise. It's beautiful. Uh, it, it, I don't know if I can try to uh, skew the colors. I don't think so. But it, it, it's a lot more uh I would say, think of like a blue raspberry Kool-Aid. That's what it looks like. So, it is nowhere near the color on this. It's much, much more turquoise. So, uh, beautiful magnet. Oh, a flawed, but still a beautiful die cast. I am so happy to have it. I've wanted this car for God knows how long. I mean, it's just, it is such a beautiful paint scheme. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to diecast buffet and smash that notification bell so you never miss a nascar diecast review everyone out there who supports my you know, everyone out there who watches my videos and supports my channel and my instagram page go follow me over there 
Thank y'all so much for the support and love. I truly do appreciate it, and it is very humbling. But all that being said, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you're having a great one out there. And Die Cast Buffet, signing off. <laughs>